Meanwhile, here at home, supporters of the former president gathered outside for a rally outside of the Trump merchandise store on Post Road in Warwick earlier. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill joining us live in Warwick tonight with their message. Well, Sheena, I spoke with supporters here at the New England for Trump store who say that last week's assassination attempt has united the Republican Party. Now, they held a rally here in Warwick earlier today. Take a look at this video. The group that organized this is called Rhode Island Freedom Fighters. People lining the street outside the shop, waving flags with various slogans, including Make America Great Again and Trump 2024, decked out in red, white, and blue. People passing by honking. We spoke with the owner of the store earlier this week. He says business has been incredible. The store covered in different types of merchandise. Although it's a few hours after the rally ended, we've seen people in and out of the store this evening. Emotions from last week's assassination attempt on former President Trump still present. No, it didn't want me to back him anymore. I already had my decision made. But it was unfortunate it happened and children have to see this. Uh, no. I think it's unit cohesion for everybody. It's not just the fact that it was an attempt on a Republican, but it's an attempt on our American way of life. And I think people need to come together on that issue across the country. And I think, I think people are starting to see that. Now, Rhode Island is a historically blue state. All four congressional delegates are Democrat. And although they've spoken out against Trump and his political views and character, they have said that they do not condone the political violence that we saw last week. Live in Warwick, I'm Lauren Brill, 12 News.